Hi guys, Francie Nail. Welcome to the Velfera Raid Recap. I don't know if it's the... F oh, the Viper, it's right on the screen. That was uh, fun on my part. Um, this raid actually was a hell of a lot harder for everybody than everybody thought, practically, because... I will get to that in a minute. I'll just open some chests because I need to open some chests. There we go. Um, Viper Raid. What happened? Majestic took first place. This only happens one in one time in six months or something that Majestic takes the lead, and they didn't really take it by far, to be honest. But as you can see, Majestic won with s almost 67 billion points. Of course, that is a new record. And then, as you can see, he has almost 800 million points. Then, well done, as usual, he is on a, a, wi a win streak on the, the individual leaderboard. This is, his fir this, this is his fifth top one in the indie leaderboard in top players and in the rates. But as you can see, the difference, 300 million. Might sound big, but if you see that these guys did six over 60 billion and then, then you're probably like that is they they just do that in two seconds probably you know eternal eternality 500 million you know and that is all close to the difference between majestic and death knights so it was kind of bunny hopping uh, between uh, death knights and majestic because they were like every every time i checked the one time Majestic was 200 million in front of Death Knights and the other time DK was 200 million in front of Majestic. Majestic came back and DK sadly didn't make it so they got dethroned for this raid only I guess because next raid is going to be Death Knights. Right after it's going to be Death Knights you know. But some other things I saw is if the entire top let's just say the number one and number two spot and the number five spot and things like that are all DK and as you can see then did 800 million points then why is DK not in first place well that's because in DK what happened was the the um, indie scores so the individual scores of the DK uh, people where from then, uh, from 800 million to 400 million less. So, and Majestic actually had um, their people scattered all across the board equally, more equally than DK. That's how Majestic won, because they all jammed a little bit look alike. So they all jammed around the same amount, let's just keep it like that. And what DK did, there were couple of guys that were spending a fuck ton and the other guys didn't they did they did the exact opposite you know they spent less because they thought they were going to have a free top one or something even though a top one is still like 10k gems with dk but yeah like i said they got detrunked for this raid only because uh, next uh, half a year we won't see Majestic close to DK or Majestic or whatever 3D gold. That's that's always how it is. They always do a top one run. And yeah, this was a new record, like I said. I mean, 67 billion. You you. I don't think you can clearly see this on uh, iOS. I mean, th this was really between 3D and Empire. But let's go on because there's already four minutes of me ranting about Majestic and DK. Won't be on time as usual. My family rules, 3 billion gap in there, that's, yeah, I guess, that's quite a lot. So, Bon Beyond Time, still number 3. My family rules, Last Crusade, Rise of the Sith, Knights of Furions, only the best, ADN, Latinos, Del Mundo, and this was just was a clean top 10. There were no 11 gold strength for top 10, Triplex Danger got 11th, and that's about it. They, I don't know if they were pushing for top 10, but they did. They, they just, the, but the gap is 1.6 billion. So, World Alliance, there's another 800 million gap in there. The D, the Knights, Lone Dragon, and yeah, here's another gap. So I don't think the top 15 was really. Uh, there were 16 golds trying for top 15, 
but this Dutch room the dark judgments but whooping time champions girls this that I've seen those guys I haven't seen those guys in a while I, I uh, when I was a noob back in um, what was it 2013 or something I tried actually to join champions guild and they why not try they just wouldn't let me join why because I, I was re I was more active as I am now uh, but I was on for practically all day because that that was my only hobby I had back then. But they they just rejected me because I didn't bought gems. And yeah, that 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 just broke my heart a little because I I also tried to join other guilds in the top one hundred because back then you could have just got that in with free energy. But lately. The, the gems just keep stacking up, you know, and that's something I really hate. So, uh, Champions Gold, Justice, and also there's some uh, Farage in history for you guys. The Final Revolution, the group recruits. Really? Is the recruit? Oh, alright, I'll take it. Psychotic Ninjas, SLK Italia, the Nidoot, Elite PvP, Life Take Italian League, still standing, Order of the Shadows, and the guy that did not make it was Drax. Sorry to you guys, but. Yeah, that not 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 everything can be clean with ten girls going for top ten and fifteen girls going for top fifteen. It's always something that 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 has to be with one girl more. And that's another girl that what that is part of my branch. It's over here. It's SOTK Spirit of the Night. For for they came in rank forty seven. I estimated it as a top seventy five because I was like. You know, they, they, it's, it was a free-to-play rate, and I thought it was going to be a top 75, because not everybody was going to spend a big amount of gems, or gems at all. And what at, what actually happened is, they got top, I estimated it on a top 75, and they got a top 50. So, even when I am estimating it, already, for me, we still overachieve. That's how we roll, you know, every time... You tell her, or I tell you, we're going for top 100, we're going to get top 50 or something. That's how we roll for some reason. And yeah, that, that's how it worked since last, I guess, July or September, whenever Rectos was created by me. Because I'm actually a branch leader, so some sort of alliance leader. And yeah. This is what you get if you join us, you know. You that some people didn't even have to spend any gems; they just had to play free to play, and all they would have gotten is an incest or a gunslinger's plus. I think it was. I, I can't look at the rewards anymore. Sorry. And yeah, that was basically it for this uh, episode, I guess. So a lot, a lot actually happened. Majestic and DK fighting for top one, and Majestic won. But like I said, it only happens in a half, once in half a year, you know. And Treaty thinks it's a big accomplishment. And yeah, it is a big, a big accomplishment because DK is like the king of raids and. 3D, yeah, they, they just do wars. Uh, always top one, I guess. And sometimes DK or DK bomb your time overthrows 3D with that. And that's about it, I guess. So, 3D has the advantage in wars and Empire has the advantage in raids. I mean, that that's how it always was since I've joined an alliance. Uh, one and a half years ago, I guess. And yeah. Like, uh, that was already it. I mean, it's still 10 minutes. But yeah. So guys, leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.